this video, I will show you how to use short-term scheduling using sequencing job, shortest processing time or SPT. Sequencing jobs specify the order in which jobs should be performed at work centers. The choice of which priority rule to choose depends in part on how each rule performs in four criteria. The priority rules try to minimize completion time, maximize facility utilization, minimize number of jobs in the system, and minimize job lateness. In this example, I will show you how to use sequencing job using shortest processing time. Five architectural rendering jobs are waiting to be assigned at Minion Factory. Their work processing times and due dates are given in the following table. The firm wants to determine the sequence of processing according to shortest processing time rules. Jobs were assigned a letter in the order they arrived. A, B, C, D, and E. To find the sequence of shortest processing time, we need to look at the column Job Work Processing Time and find the lowest D. And then we can rearrange the job sequence. For this example, the shortest job time is B which is 2. The sequence is B, D, A, C, and E. The next part is to find the flow time. The flow time in the system for this sequence measures the time each job spends waiting plus time being processed. For B, job Work time is 2, flow time 2, job due date is 6. For D, job work time is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. For A, 5 plus 6 equal to 11. And for C, 11 plus 8 equal to 19 and finally E 19 plus 9 equal to 28. The total number of flow time is 65. Next step is to find the job lateness. We need to compare job due date and the flow time. For B, Flow time is 2, job due date is 6, so it is still in the time range, no job lateness. For D, flow time is 5 and job due date is 15, no job lateness. And for A, flow time is 11 and job due date is 8, so it late 3 days. For C, flow time is 19 and job due date is 18. So the job lateness is one day. For E, flow time is 28 and job due date is 23. Job lateness is 5. The total number of job lateness here is 9. Finally, we can calculate the average completion time, the utilization metric, the average number of jobs in the system, and finally, average job lateness. That's all. Thank you.